There are several options and functions within MaxQDA that take advantage of variables and variable values that you've given. And those are in the Mixed Methods drop-down menu. So what we'll talk about in this tutorial is the Quote Matrix. And the Quote Matrix is basically a retrieval, but in two different columns, or up to four different columns, separated based on variable values. So I could do a retrieval for all the things that the people in New York said about health, and I would have that in the Retrieve Segments window. But maybe I would like to compare what the women said about health compared to what the men said about health. And with the Retrieve Segments window, I can do that one by one. So first what the women said, and then what the men said. But I can also, with the quote matrix, create a visualization of both of those things at the same time side by side. So the first thing you need to do to use the uh, quote matrix is to activate those codes that you're interested in. So let's say I'm interested in overall life satisfaction, recreation, and home life. I want to activate those first, and then I go to the quote matrix. Now this option will not be available to you unless you've activated at least one code. So I now click on the quote matrix, and I have the standard mixed methods formula window. So I need to tell MaxQDA what grouping should be in each of the columns. Uh, in this case, I want one, one column to represent what the men said and one column to represent what the women said. So my first formula, I'll click New, will be gender. Gender equals male. That'll be the first one. The second one will be gender equals female. So I have two formulas now. And the quote matrix allows you to put up to four different formulas in. So you can compare four groupings. But in this case, we're going to stick to two. Alternatively, if I reset this, these formulas, a shortcut is when I click New and choose Gender, there's this little button here that allows us to insert all values. So what it's going to do is it's going to create gender equals male, gender equals female, very quickly because those are the only two values that are available. So if I click that and OK, I get gender equals female and gender equals male. It's just a way to, to make it go a little bit quicker. So now when I click OK, it's going to do a retrieval for each of these three codes and have them in different columns so I can compare male to female. So I click OK, and it will open it up in whatever word processor you have. In this case, for me, it's opening it up in WordPad, since that is my standard word processor. So we have in the first column the name of the code, in this case overall, and then in the second column, with the column header gender equals female, all the things that the women said about this particular topic. So we have a retrieve segment, followed by the citation, which is highlighted. So it shows me that this coded segment came from the document group New York, the document Joanna, paragraphs 38 to 39. So the quote matrix makes it very easy for you to compare what different variable groups said about a certain topic. Thank mm -hmm. you.